thanks for the opportunity to speak here. Um, like a uh, previous speaker, I did not come um, with any notes prepared. I just came to hear about what Paul had to, to share. And um, my impression is this is a big Trojan horse. <laughs> At 30,000 square feet, it's really ambiguous. It's really vague. It's no wonder that one of the previous speakers couldn't find anything that um, shows that it does anything constitutionally wrong, whether at the federal or the state level, because there is no detail to which that would apply. What I can say is that the first thing as I looked at this thing was, am I still in America? <laughs> I mean, our Constitution says that we have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It doesn't say equality. France's Constitution says egalité. That's not ours. We have the ability to achieve our dreams, but that is based upon individual rights which we are, are being taken at the federal level by HUD whether anyone agrees or disagrees that, that they're going to be pulling the purse strings and telling people what to do, just look at Obamacare. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? They're telling us already. We got the health care exchange set up here in Rhode Island. We did a good job. We got hundreds of million dollars in subsidies for the first couple of years, but guess what? That's going away. And who's going to pick up the bill? Us. Who, at what cost does this come? You talk about the disadvantaged groups. You talk about equality, fairness. But this is centralized planning. This is not America. This, I, I came from New Hampshire, okay? So I am probably a, um, a come, come here in Rhode Island from a different point of view. Live free or die. As far as recreating how the uh, what should we do? I'll tell you what we do. We look at the states that are succeeding in terms of economic development. <laughs> Forbes came out today with the Tax Foundation's um, report on taxation of businesses. We are 47th in the country for business class. Business tax friendliness. That includes 45th in the business tax, 47th in property tax. We're 50th in a regulatory environment. And we're number one in unemployment. Can anybody please connect the dots here and tell me why <laughs> we should have multiple meetings to recreate the wheel? We're we, we stink. We're at the bottom of the battle. Why aren't we looking at Texas, at Florida, at states that are that are thriving economies to which our graduates are running to? We now have a situation in place where my neighbor, for instance, she lived in her house for 57 years. She had to sell her house at fire sale because she could no longer afford the property taxes mm -hmm. or the regulatory burdens that were placed upon her by our local regulations. How is that going to change when the federal government is overseeing things? We don't have a voice at the local level. It's not going to get any better when the feds take over. And lastly, we have to be competitive regionally. All we have to do is look at New Hampshire. They came out number seven in business environment in that study that came out today. That's where I'm from. They have low taxes, low regulations, a thriving economy. That's our competition. That's where the brain trust of Boston businesses are going to look for manufacturing facility land. We should be that place. We are, we are better located between New York and Boston. We have natural resources. What we don't have 
is representation that is putting in place the right plans of action that will encourage businesses to thrive. 